My name is Liz Rada, and this exhibition is called Heat Loss. So I work with found materials, primarily video, but also objects. Um, and a lot of my time is just spent looking for materials to work with. I don't start with any kind of conscious agenda. I start with a very broad search, which becomes more and more specific over time. And this is typically just like looking through tons of videos on YouTube or online, just in general. And I'm looking for materials that stir something up in me that are sort of complicated, either psychologically or culturally loaded and are about the human experience on some level. Once I've developed an archive of material to work with, my role shifts from a collector to a curator of sorts, and I pair materials and ideas that are sort of just more complicated in the presence of one another. And my goal is to achieve a kind of tension just through pairing materials that are at odds with one another. So the exhibition is called Heat Loss, and it consists of three videos and two photographic works. One of the pieces is called Turn Your Face Toward the Sun, and it consists of scanned images from Design Within Reach magazines that I've panned and zoomed over. And then I've paired it with a found ASMR audio clip. Essentially, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, and it's characterized as a sort of low-grade euphoric experience that is brought on by you know different sounds and images that supposedly create some kind of a like tingling sensation in your scalp but anyway in this particular one it's a woman named ashley who is whispering positive affirmations while chewing gum and then under that also there is a nasa audio recording of the sun that sort of ramps up over time well i'll tell you this the piece that has been the most challenging for me is the zoom test video for that particular video, it's found video and audio from two different sources. The way that it started was I was looking through videos of um, people basically testing the zoom function on their camera. And I came across this particular video and I just was totally arrested by it. I can't tell if it's staged or not. It looks like it probably is, but either way, it's just really strange. So you see like all these different layers of looking. You start with the photographer who has photographed these women, and then you see a man or a woman, you can't tell what race he or she is, um, looking at this magazine. And then there's someone up in this apartment who has been zooming in on this man or woman looking at this magazine and then there's me who's appropriating the material and then there's you the viewer and so there's just all of these sort of um, layers and levels of looking it took me months to find this video just spending like hours looking through different videos online and then it took me just as long to find a piece of audio to recontextualize it with so the sound is an audiobook translation of a text by Judy Krishnamurti, who's a philosopher, and he's essentially asking us to look at an image or a thing in the world without any prejudice or judgment. There is cool air, and there is you, the observer, the experiencer, the thinker. So I think like applying these ideas to sexually explicit images of uh, women, uh, specifically a lot of them are black and brown women, um, it's complicated and the footage is really troubling and so is our relationship with race in America. So the video is called First Freedom and essentially it pairs a car commercial. It's a self-driving car put out by Audi, it's the A7 model, and um, some stock footage and then it, I've recontextualized it with um, an audio recording. It's a found ASMR audio clip um, that I took from a video. And it's this woman who is talking about being alone. And I've slowed it down because I think it lends itself to a kind of anonymity. I feel peaceful alone. But, you know, I think that it relates to the title of the exhibition, Heat Loss, in the sense that there's no one in the car. So it's about you know, um, you know, uh, technology sort of taking over in a way and the absence of the individual and um, this sort of like fantasy of being in a car without anyone in it. So it, it kind of like defeats the purpose of everything <laughs> to see this this particular car commercial because it's it's self-driving, but there's actually no one being taken anywhere. I realize that a lot of the work I make is ripe for explanation, but I resist the temptation to explain 
what it is exactly. I find that in the process of, of explaining the work loses the sense of tension that I'm trying to establish. I want to leave room for the viewer to make sense of work and it's loaded and complicated on purpose. I'm interested in what these combinations stir up in us. The goal is ultimately to take images from out in the world and return them without clear, explicit commentary. If the work is troubling, I think it's because we still have so many unsettled questions about the politics of representation.